by Michael Osh, a butcher. Contrary to accusations in some quarters that the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ike, has deliberately refused to issue a certificate of return to Dr. Obiora Okokwo as the authentic winner of the Umbra Central Senatorial Election, checks have revealed that the case is not simply one of obeying the orders of the High Court. Supporters of Obiora Okokwo argue that Justice Tsoho of the Federal High Court Abuja had granted relief sought by Drive. Okokwo, to the effect that he is the validly nominated candidate of the PDP for the March 2015 senatorial election for Umbra Central and as such should enjoy the victory of PDP at the said 2015 election. Investigations however reveal that the judgment is at variance with the orders of the Court of Appeal in two judgments CA forward slash a forward slash 160 forward slash 2016 and CA forward slash a forward slash 165 forward slash 2016 both of them dated November the 20th, 2017 delivered before Justice Soho's judgment. It was gathered from sources familiar with the case that there has never been any legal advice to Ike to obey the judgment of the High Court and to ignore that of the Court of Appeal unlike what supporters of Obiora would have people believe. Besides, no lawyer can canvass this position in violation of seconds. 287 of the Constitution Hence, our investigation reveals that Ike is only abiding by the judgments of a superior court which is conveniently ignored here. In all the issues raised so far by supporters of Okokwo, no reference has been made to subsisting judgments of the Court of Appeal, a superior court, on the same issue dated November 20, 2017 thereby creating the impression that the only judgment is that of the High Court dated December 13, 2017. It was reliably gathered that on Friday December 22, 2017, Ike approached the same High Court to draw its attention to the judgments of the Court of Appeal on the same issue which the lower court is bound to obey by virtue of seconds. 287 of the 1999 Constitution, as amended. The Commission prayed the Court to vary its decision in the interest of justice. Okokwo's lawyer was duly served. It is therefore surprising that the legal team is claiming ignorance. Also contrary to claims that the Electoral Act stipulates 48 hours time frame for the handing over of a certificate of return to a winner as cited by supporters of Dr. Okokwo, the proviso only applies to the Supreme and Appellate Courts. However, in this case, the Appellate Court, the Court of Appeal, has ordered the Commission to conduct rerun elections without the PDP and its candidate within 90 days while a Federal High Court is saying otherwise. Furthermore, Subsec 2 states, where the Commission refuses or neglects to issue a certificate of return, a certified true copy of the order of a court of competent jurisdiction shall, ipso facto, be sufficient for the purpose of swearing in a candidate declared as the winner by that court. Many lawyers argue that putting pressure on Ike to press for the issuance of certificate of return is unnecessary since the law says that the certificate is not a requirement for swearing in in this case. Also, contrary to claims that the election was not nullified, checks revealed that the election was actually nullified.